Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 21st of February 2018. I'm Darren Sinden and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight change and price moves to be aware of. Uh, and uh, the dollar is fighting back. Dollar index trading at 89.86, getting close to that key 90 uh, psychologically important round number. Uh, the yen has given ground at 107.78, trading shortly before we recorded the video. And you can see uh, the dollar's performance here uh, in the box I've highlighted. Nothing major. But a slight change in sentiment and in direction, and certainly that's something that we should keep an eye on over the coming day and into the close of the week. Right, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Uh, a packed calendar, uh, pretty important data points uh, to come, so let's get cracking and take a look. First of all then, at uh, 8.30 GMT we will have uh, market services, manufacturing and composite PMI data out of Germany uh, for the month of February. We have half an hour then until we see similar data uh, from the Eurozone as a whole. So again, to gain manufacturing services and composite PMI. Of course, where Germany leads, the Eurozone uh, tends to follow. So there may be an opportunity to uh, arbitrage those figures. Then at uh, 9.30, um, a key data point for the UK, uh, unemployment rates for December alongside average earnings and claimant counts. Uh, the average earnings for DEC and the claimant counts for the month of January. Uh, that will be accompanied by uh, a breakdown of UK government finances in the form of the public sector net bond requirement for the month of January as well. Then we jump forward to this afternoon and the first of a series of central bank speeches uh, to kick us off at 2 o'clock, uh, FOMC member Harker is speaking. Then at 14.15, 15 minutes later, we'll hear from uh, the Bank of England's Governor Mark Carney. Uh, in the middle of all these central bank speeches, uh, inflation report hearings for the Bank of England are ongoing in Parliament, of course. Then at 14.15, we'll hear from uh, MPC members Broadbent, Haldane and uh, Ten Rio, uh, and that uh, takes us up to 14.45 when we'll have the market manufacturing PMI composite and services data out of the USA for February. And if that wasn't enough for you, at 1900 we will have the influential FOMC minutes, the details uh, and the voting record of what and what was said in the last FOMC meeting, Janet Yellen's last meeting, of course, as Fed chair. Right, breaking news then and comment that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, Thailand's exports have grown at their fastest rate for five years in January. So the uh, tiger economy uh, looks to be continuing to improve. Uh, but uh, moving the other way, Australian construction output slumped uh, in Q4 2017. But perhaps encouragingly for uh, Aussie dollar bulls, wages grew slightly ahead of expectations in that same quarter, uh, coming in but with a growth of 0.6% versus 0.5%. You'll remember that the Reserve Bank of Australia is sitting on its hands as far as interest rates are concerned until such time as it sees sustained and solid wage growth in the Australian economy. Meanwhile, Eurozone consumer confidence has fallen back in February from its 17-year high. An example of this is that Dutch consumers have reined in their spending uh, over the, the period since Christmas. Right then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Well, why not think about this? Sterling has appreciated by some 3.7% uh, versus the US dollar year to date, but underlying this positivity is an expectation of sharp price moves ahead that's likely to be driven by Brexit and political risk. And this is exemplified by the fact that one month volatility in cable has exceeded the one year measure during February, a sign that markets expect to sharp price movements in the sterling in the near term and the chart here from Bloomberg tracks the spread between one month and one year volatility in cable uh, and when uh, the, the spread moves below zero as it has done during February uh, the expectation then is for sharper moves in the pound nothing guaranteed but as I say it's worth tracking this if you can uh, and keeping an eye on what the market's thinking here right then risk warning time Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about the suitability of those products or the risks involved in trading them, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative.